So same thing. Um, basically, you have a baby that you're starting your lap pyloric on, and all of a sudden the end tidal CO2 has become non-detectable, and the child has a cardiac arrest. So the question that we pose is, what is the most likely cause of this arrest during laparoscopy? Gas embolus, unrecognized hemorrhage to the trocar site, pneumopericardium from extraperitoneal insufflation, monitor error, and inadvertent endotracheal extubation. Yeah, your, pres your question was much better than Max. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but now everyone knows but the answer. Knows, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we've made, I did give the answer. We've made glorious right. progress, right? right. Actually, this is, this is actually the most... The most likely cause is E. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because this happened, the gas embolus doesn't happen very, very much. Cor I mean, I think that's correct. But hopefully, you will have <laughs> the wherewithal to have gas embolus at the top of your mind. On your mind, okay. yes, and not. You know, it's very convenient to blame everything <laughs> on anesthesia. <laughs> we all love doing it, right? It's rare, but the mortality is high. Um, one of the things that's that's actually interesting is that it's nitrogen and the air embolus that causes the most problems with hemodynamics. Mm -hmm. So one trick that you can do is, you know, that the insufflation tubing has a large amount of air in it, probably 40 mils. If you run the CO2 through the tubing and you at, before you hook the tubing up, then you'll minimize the amount of nitrogen that you actually put in that's to the baby. So there are some there are some people that think if you run the CO2 through the tubing that you'll decrease the risk of really having a, a significant gas embolus. Wow. Didn't know that. I that will be a change. I've not done that before. Um, management again, take out the cannula, desflate the abdomen, put the baby in Trendelenburg, um, inotropes, chest compression. Um, some people talk about aspirating the gas through a central venous catheter. And um, obviously, ECMO or hyperbaric oxygen. That's a great slide because th these things are not things you can look up. You kind of just have to hope you remember what you just showed. Uh, well, it's, it's very, you know, when we were in training for general surgery, we were all taught how to deal with an air, air embolus, embolism. right? Never heard of and, it. Yeah, right. And then, not, yeah. I don't think maybe any of us ever saw it. <laughs> right. But we were yes. all, it, it was, you know, bammed into our heads <laughs> of the things that you had to do if it happened. Yeah. And so I think that's probably where these dictum come from or these yeah. ideas come from. That was awesome, actually. That worked out. All right. 